Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Edmund Mindaros and for today's quick tutorial and I'm going to show you guys on how to resolve the driver verifier DMA violations blue screen error you're experiencing on your Windows 11 or Windows 10 computer. Okay, kung paano ba natin ito i-fix and without further ado and let's go ahead. So all you have to do is to open up on search menu. And then dito ay kinama na type yung verifier. And then next ay silik mo lang dito yung run as administrator. So dito sa driver verifier manager, ang next step ay kailangan lang natin iselect dito yung task na delete existing settings. So i-click mo lang yan. And then click mo lang tong finish. And then next step ay kailangan lang natin mag-restart. So dito si start menu and then click mo lang to restart. Okay? So, if the error is still persists, do this another solutions. So, ang next step ay dito lang sa search menu and then type mo lang dito yung CMD or ito yung tinatawag na command prompt and then kailangan mo lang mag-right click dito and then sinig mo lang dito yung run as administrator. So, dito sa administrator command prompt ay kailangan lang natin i-enter yung command keyword na verifier space slash reset. Yes, so kailangan mo lang i-type yung command keyword na verifier space slash reset and then press mo lang yung enter. Okay, so no settings were changed and then next step na command keyword na kailangan lang natin enter ay enter lang natin ang sfc space slash scan now. So one word yung slash scan now and then press mo lang yung enter. Okay, so makikita mo dito na beginning system scan. This process will take some time. Beginning verification piece of system scan, kailangan lang natin ito. Hintayin na makomplete yung verifications into 100%. Okay, so makikita nyo dito na verifications 100% complete. And then next step ay close lang natin itong uh, CMD. And then dito lang si start menu at kailangan ulit natin mag-restart. Okay, so click mo lang ito. Alright, so ganun lang po kasimple kung paano natin i-fix ang the driver verifier. DMA violations, BSOD error in Windows 11 or Windows 10. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more quality content. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.